The Children's Movement is a youth-led organization that seeks to empower, educate and mold young people. Birthed by one of Namibia's renowned educators, the now late Otili Abrams, following her participation at the 5th Women's Conference in Berlin in the 1990s. Its principles are to instill self-respect, care for the environment, critical thinking, democracy participation, as well as be self-sustaining. The movement was initially called the girl child, but the need to accommodate the boy child necessitated its name change to the children's movement. Boys benefit from training and skills in various areas, including how to make sanitary towels for the girls and in identifying the movement's target. All our projects are for the kids, by the kids. So the children would then come up to us and tell us, Shandri, we have a serious need of mental health within our school. Can we organize something? We are there, just there to guide them and tell them the right routes to take. They then do their own thing. So it's more of a peer-to-peer -peer approach than you having people come, give speeches, the kids don't listen. We might end soon due to donor funding, we don't know, but then what will be happening? So we'd rather teach them how to start up a garden at their house where they can then start making soup from their own gardens. Thus far, the movement has donated more than 1,000 200 self-made pads countrywide, making it a more solidarity organization as opposed to a charity one. The project falls under hashtag power of 10 million girls. The aim was to put back 10 million girls to restore their dignity, to give them education on menstruation and also to do take out stigma around menstruation. These girls use stuff like mattresses, they cut the hostel mattresses, they cut their own clothing, they use newspapers. So with this pad, it's free of charge. We invite the people um, of the community, school going kids, to help us make this pads. We then identify girls that really need the pads. In the bed, um, box of pads, you'll find a hygiene uh, material which consists of a face cloth, a soap to wash the bed, also instructions as to how to take care of the bed properly. Um, I'm also happy the material we get is such of good quality that will last the skulls for three years. The official launch of the movement at Kietmanshoop saw the handover of hygiene kits to four high schools and community members present with the help of Project Never Walk Alone, the Kietmanshoop municipality and youth center. All interested parties are urged to come on board in making sanitary towels for the less privileged girls or provide the movement with material and logistics needed to be able to reach out to every girl child in need in the country.